Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about villains. So, I've been wanting to watch and review this movie for so long, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Luckily, like a few days ago, three, four days, three, four days ago, I found it on the internet and yeah i'm here to review it actually i didn't have this video planned i had another movie uh, review but i asked you guys on twitter which one would you prefer and you voted for this one so i'm here to talk about uh, villains which is kind of a dark comedy and yeah let's get into it so villains is about a couple uh, a couple of teeth, like a real couple, a guy and a girl, that their car runs out of gas and so they break into a house to get a vehicle, get some gas, just find a way to keep going. Um, but as soon as they enter this house, they are met with some dark secrets and with a couple that is just as bad or worse than they are. The plot sounds really simple and it kind of is, but it's really different. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. So the movie stars Bill Skarsgård, Micah Monroe, uh, Kira Sedgwick, I believe that's how it you say her name, and Jeffrey Donovan, um, yeah, I don't think there's any other character in the movie, there's a police officer and another character, which I can't really say because it's a spoiler, so yeah, but yeah, it's basically these four actors, and obviously I wanted to watch this movie because of Bill Skarsgård, I've been a fan of him ever since Emlock Grove uh, surprise it's not from it um, it was not the first time I, I saw him I saw him on Amlock Grove and I think I watched some of some other movie with him or other series I'm not 100% sure but yeah I the first time I saw him was Amlock Grove and that series is so underrated uh, but yeah uh, I'm a huge fan of him so I wanted to watch this movie because of him and because it's kind of, kind of categorized as a horror but it's more of a dark comedy I would like compare it to Red You're Not um, in the way that it has a comedic side it's not the plot it's pretty different but yeah post all that let's get into my actual thoughts this movie was so much better than what I was expecting like the humor is so fun and so clever uh, as I said it's a dark comedy and the comedy is really good in this my favorite thing about the movie is 100% the couple the main couple like Bill Skarsgård and uh, Micah Monroe like it's such a realistic couple and they're so much fun and yeah i was really impressed with bill skarsgård because he does this type of movies which this is kind of a horror but this is such a different character for him uh it usually plays the bad guy which he kind of is also in this movie but this is such a comedic character he usually plays some dark and moody, mysterious type of characters and this is not like that at all. It's such a light, fun um, yeah, character. It's, it's a really good character and I was really impressed with his acting because I'm not uh, used to seeing him play these type of roles. Um, so yeah, as I said, like the humor is on point. The gore could be better, uh, but the plot, the story, and the acting makes up for it, so I'm not mad about that. 
And yeah, I I was really surprised at how fun but still believable the whole situation is. Uh, of course, there's stuff that you think wouldn't really happen that way, but for the most of it, it's really believable and fun at the same time, which is surprising. This whole movie was such a surprise. And yeah, I can't say enough things about it. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, it's not cliche at all. Yeah, I don't think it is. The story isn't 100% original, and of course there's some issues, but for the most part, it's a pretty well done movie with good acting and good cinematography. Yeah, go watch it. I've said basically everything that I had to say, but I need to get into my scores, so let's get on to that. Overall, I give villains a 3.5 out of 5. Might sound like a low score after all the hype that uh, I gave to this movie, but there's issues, obviously, and the story isn't like really, really different. So, yeah, I was just surprised, and I think 3.5 is a good score comparing to other movies that I've watched this year. Uh, I have to keep in mind all the other movies that I liked better, so yeah, I think 3.5 is a good score. Cinematography wise, I give it a 3 out of 5. The cinematography, for the most part, it's really beautiful, but it's not like anything out of the ordinary. There's good settings, um, the set design is pretty, uh, but yeah. It's an average type of cinematography. And originality wise, I give it a two and a half out of five. As I said, this story isn't 100% original. It's like a middle ground type of story. It has been seen before, but the way they approached it, it's what makes it unique. So two and a half, it's right in the middle. So, yeah guys, these are my thoughts on villains. From what I've seen, not a lot of people have watched the movie, so I'm curious to see who watched it and what you thought. And after my review, if you're thinking about watching it, I recommend you go watch it because it's really fun. And if you like horror but not a lot of gore, this is a good movie for that. It's, as I said a million times in this review, it's really fun and actors are great so yeah the other movie that i was planning on reviewing is low tide so if you still want that a review you guys on twitter didn't really want it but if you're watching this and you don't follow me on twitter follow me uh, but also let me know in the comments if you want the low tide review because I think I can squeeze in that before the end of the year so yeah if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I'll see you in my next video